because of advice I received here on today, I'm coming to you with the second edition or second episode of the Supreme Brain Room. Now, today, I'm someone speaking about Miles Cosmo. He is the reason we have a brain list and why the Supreme Brain List is needed. Now, most of us don't know exactly who Miles Cosmo is. Those that do, he was the one of the officers fired from the Louisville Police Department after Brianna Taylor shooting. Now, what happened is he was fired for not following police procedures for um, excessive force, which is conduct unbecoming of a police officer. Two, he lied in his plea report. Three, he was actually the one that fired the shot that killed Breonna Taylor, March 13, 2020. And the reason I'm giving the date is so you can actually look up these reports if you are challenging his credibility. Four, he participated in a conspiracy. Now, let's catch that one. Because Two other officers have admitted to both find the affidavit to attain the one. So basically, two other officers lied. He participated in it by the execution of that one. These are the things that come up with the conspiracy for deprivation of rights, which is why they were paid out for the um, boyfriend and the parents of Breonna Taylor were paid out for wrongful death. And the big one is he's still under federal criminal indictment for his actions in the Breonna Taylor issue. Now, here's the thing. Miles Cosgrove was hired by the Carroll County Police Department as a police officer April 20th, 2023, which is just 20 miles away from Louisville. Right? Now, I'm going to say something I want you to pay attention to. Sheriff of Carroll County stated Cosgrove did what he was trained to do. Remember that? He did what he was trained to do. Remember, I, I've had this conversation before. Actually, with a friend of mine who uh, at Bloom County Police Office, when I asked him about participating in the Bloom Flu, what was his response? We're being punished for doing what we are trained to do. Now, keep in mind, his quote unquote training saying he did not follow police procedure. Yes, I followed him from that respect because his new boss says he was doing what he was trained to do. Yet his old boss said that his actions were disgusting. Now, he fired 16 shots into an apartment after one shot was fired at him. Remember, doing what he was trained to do. He did not identify a target. He lied about his prior actions, but was saying, oh, I announced myself, which was a blatant lie. He lied about his return action. He said he had visible contact or visible, visibly identified the office of the target. Yet, he then stated that he was shooting from a closed door. Because they had retreated after the one shot. And he never activated his body cam. Remember, doing what he was trained to do, not following police procedure, participating in a lie. But the biggest part about this is what we're challenging. This is where the actual rating comes in, or Jiglio. When you start asking for the officer's conduct or the officer's prior complaints, Carol Powell can say, well, he doesn't have any complaints with us. That prosecutor can lie or omit the fact that while he doesn't have issues in Carol County, you can now point to the issue at his prior employment. You can now 
make them useless to the system by challenging every arrest, every interaction where Miles Cosgrove is part of. Why? Because remember, I want you to also remember this. I spoke about how they're spending $50 million per year to keep bad cops working. But although he didn't follow the police procedure, he lied to the police report, he did not um, he participated in the conspiracy, and he's on a federal indictment, criminal indictment, that wasn't enough for him to actually lose his policing certification. It just ain't here. He's a known liar. And he cannot follow police department policy. These are the places where you you actually attack if he is part of your case. If he remains as a police officer, you now make him completely useless. Remember that. This is how we correct the system. This is how we actually take action and take back proper policing. If they don't want to do it, this is how we work them to do it. Thank you for watching. More to come. Keep reporting. Supreme out.